Wow. So you had the fight this weekend. <laughs> Nagano, Francis Nagano versus Tyson Fury. And what a surprise. What a surprise. I mean, me personally, I knew Nagano was going to come and take it serious. Because, I mean, that just seems like his nature. Watching him in UFC, I mean, he just, every fight, he took it serious. He came in with a business-type mentality. And so it wasn't surprising to me that he came in with that same mentality in boxing. But, I mean, ooh, to put Tyson Fury down, and he put him down with his offhand, with his left hand, with a left hook, put him down. And, wow. Wow. I mean, it was, and then kind of taunted him a little bit. And he said the reason he did it was because Tyson said something right before the fight. Um, said he's going to school him or something like that. So he, he took that, you know, as, um, oh, I'm, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. And he, he took advantage of that when he had him on the ground and taunted him a little bit. So, I mean, it was impressive. It was definitely impressive. Um, you kind of seen a little bit of Nagano's stamina. Seemed like his stamina went down a little bit. But for the most part, I mean, even though it looked that way at times, it would he would come back at times and like, oh, okay, shoot, he's still dangerous. Still dangerous. That that punch is still coming solid. So, I mean, it was um it, it was definitely an entertaining fight. Uh me personally, uh, I would have liked to have seen it a draw. I would like to have seen it a draw. And, and that's because even though Nagano got the knockdown, which is big for sure, I think Fury probably won uh, a good majority of the rounds. But you got to take that 10 8 round by the knockdown when Nagano in the play. So I would give it a draw. Um, you know, the refs, uh, the, the judges had it close. They did have it close, but for the most part, um, you know, and it was going to be hard for Nagano to get a decision. It's going to be hard, I mean, for Nagano to, to, to do that. But for the most part, he, um, hey, he did his thing. And arguably, I don't mind that people arguing that he won. Hey, he got the only knockdown in the fight, you know, and this was his first boxing match. And he knocked down the WBC heavyweight champ, Tyson Fury. Knocked him down and, uh, you know, fought him good through 10 rounds. Fought him good. You know, Tyson Fury even hit him with like an MMA elbow. You know, I don't know if that was purposely or what, but, I mean, it, it definitely hit him. And you didn't see it during uh, real time. You had to see it during when they sh sh uh, slowed it down. And it was clear as day, an elbow right to his head. And, uh, you know, uh, Francis Nagano who ate it. But it's like, man, you know, Fury, what, what, what's going on? What's going on with that? You know, so, um, but, you know, I look at it as, you know, I, I wouldn't say it was purposely, but for the most part, it could have been. It could have been. And, um, you know, Nagano definitely didn't appreciate it. I tell you that. He posted it on his uh, social media thing. So, but overall, it was a great fight. Definitely look forward to seeing Nagano again in the ring. And, um, hey, I like them in MMA just like I like them in boxing. So either way, of course, you know, I like boxing better than MMA. So I would prefer him to be in a boxing ring. I would prefer him to go up against, who, who knows, jo Joseph Parker. Um, they were saying that maybe he can get in there with Wilder, with Joshua. Eddie Hearn, Joshua's promoter, is clamoring for that fight. Everybody wants Francis Nagano because he's a big draw now. You know, and Saudi Arabia wants him to come back. Hey, because, you know, they got that oil money and they want to, hey, they want to give him some up. It was a big turnout. And they, you know, they, they definitely liked it. They definitely liked it and uh, want more of it. So, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to him uh, boxing whoever. You know, I will be tuning in when he, when he steps in the ring. And, um, and that's for sure. And I'm hearing that he could be back in the ring December 23rd. And they don't have an opponent. But for the most part, they're saying December 23rd. So, you know, hey, in Saudi Arabia again. So, hey, I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it again. Definitely look forward to it uh, no matter who he fights. You know, of course, you want him to fight uh, somebody that definitely uh, 
his caliber. And hey, it can be one of the the top ones again. You know, Joshua um, uh, Wilder, you know, or Joseph Parker, you know, a tier below the top. Hey, you know, I think he would handle a Joseph Parker. I wouldn't mind seeing that. I wouldn't mind seeing, um, you know, against other kind of right below the top um, uh, fighters, you know, right below. I think he would take care of those and, um, you know, really look impressive. Really look impressive. Get his stamina up, build that up more, and I think he will be real good. Real good in Boston. Look forward to seeing him. And, uh, hey, appreciate the support.